Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about trigonometric Fourier series and here I will be solving practice problem 17.1 on the request of a student. Let's have some basic idea uh, about Fourier series. This is a repeat. I have uh, shown this in my previous uh, video as well. The basic concept is that any periodic signal could be represented or constructed as the sum of properly chosen sinusoidal waves. What does this mean? That any signal, let's say this is a square wave signal or triangular wave signal, which is periodic, can be constructed with the combination of sine and cosine waves of different frequencies. Now this is fundamental frequency, this is 2 means the second harmonics, 3 means the third harmonics, etc., etc. Now to give you a visual impression, I had uh, uh, plotted this uh, with the help of MATLAB. This was the fundamental frequency, let's say this is 50 Hz frequency. Then this one is the third harmonics, that is 3 times 50, 150 Hz. And this was fifth harmonics, uh, that is 5 into 50, 250 Hz. And when we added these three, then you can see there is a square wave signal coming in. This may not be perfect because I have added only three signals. When we add maybe 100 signals of uh, different harmonics, or harmonics, then you will get a perfect square wave signal. Now, these can be represented in terms of amplitude as well, as shown mm -hmm. here. The 50 Hz signal has an amplitude like this. And the uh, third harmonics or 150 Hz has this much amplitude and gradually we are reducing the amplitude uh, to construct a perfect uh, square wave signal. Now this is generally plotted as shown here and this plot is called the amplitude spectra. And those of you who have a spectrum analyzer in your university, you can see this actually. Uh, if you have an input of a square wave, you can see these uh, spectrums. Now, why do we study? The, the main advantage here, you can see which frequency is dominant, what is the amplitude. And for example, if you are transmitting a square wave signal and assume that we have a noise here, we have a peak at this point, then immediately you can say that this is not part of the signal, this is a noise and with the help of a filtering circuit you can eliminate the noise from here. Okay, with this background, now we'll solve the practice problem. Uh, find the Fourier series of the square wave, so this is the square wave given. Plot the amplitude and phase spectra. So the first point uh, we got to do is define the signal uh, mathematically. Let's say we're starting from here. So first of all, it, the signal is going positive and the magnitude is 1 from 0 to 1. So we'll write it like this, that Ft is equal to 1 from time 0 to 1. And then from 1 to 2, it is negative 1. So we'll write negative 1 from 1 to 2. Then we'll also define the time period. So the signal is starting from here and going, going, going this part. And again it is repeating, so that means this is the uh, end of one period. So the period is 2, so time period is 2, and we know that omega in terms of radian is 2 pi f or 2 pi over t, so when we put t is equal to 2, this will become pi. So in, in our case, in this case, omega naught or the fundamental frequency is pi. Now with this knowledge, we will now see the uh, Fourier equation or the Fourier series equation is represented by this formula. It is explained and shown in your book. And so what all we need here is to find A0, An and Bn. This A0, the coefficient An and the coefficient Bn to define the Fourier series or to find the Fourier series. Okay, and to find all these three constants, we have to use this these formulas. This is also explained and given in the book. So this is for A naught, this is for A n, and this is for B n. 
find a not first of all uh, the time period we know is two signal we know has two parts so we'll break this into uh, two parts so 1 over 2 and the uh, integral is from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 0 to 1 the signal is 1 from here and 1 to 2 the signal is minus 1 so we'll put this and it's then simple integration and putting the limit so integration of 1 dt is 1 and we put the limit and same here then solving solving you get the answer 0 so a naught is 0 then we come to a n same technique same way we'll divide it into two parts so dividing into two parts putting the value and then simplifying this is simplified form take integral of cosine integral of cosine is sine n pi t and divided by uh, this constant n pi and then putting the limit for both cases and solving 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 we get the answer zero now remember here for omega naught we have replaced it by pi because from here we saw that the omega naught is pi now next we find the value of uh, uh, coefficient b n so this is the formula here we'll replace n by pi and divide this into two parts as we did before so dividing into two parts and then integrating we get integral of sine is minus cos divided by n pi both cases putting in the values so we get up to this point now here uh, we have to consider two things that cos n pi can be written as minus 1 power n and now you can uh, just to verify you can take any value of n and then find that uh, cos n pi is giving same value for example if we have n is equal to 1 then it will be minus 1 and cos pi is minus 1 then if you have n is equal to 2 this will be plus 1 so cos 2 pi is equal to plus 1 okay so this is for this part exactly same way we'll uh, write an uh, equation for cos 2 n pi so cos 2 n pi will also be minus 1 2 raised to the power n okay and now if we replace these with the values this one or this one cos 0 is minus 1 here this formula and this is minus uh, 1 power n and then rearranging this the minus sign if it comes inside then it will be 1 minus minus 1 power n and this remains same so now both the terms are same so we'll just add them so it will be 2 n pi 1 minus minus 1 power n now this value will be different for the value of n when uh, n is equal to let's say 1 then this will be minus 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 plus so it will be uh, 2 2 into 2 4 so for n is odd this will be 4 even if you take n is equal to 3 5 it will be 4 but if n is even for example n is 2 then this square will be positive 1 minus positive 1 will be 0 so for even the value will be 0 and for the odd it will be 4 and pi 2 so this we can write it like this that the function bn will be 4 n over pi for n is equal to odd and 0 for n is equal to even and now we can now put in the values that we have found out which was like this we found these values so let's try to plug in a this was 0 a n is 0 so this part is what we have uh, like this so bft will be as shown here now bn if we, we have two values how do we plug in two values in this so there is a better way of doing and that is we define a variable new variable k such that n is equal to 2k minus 1 
Now, what we are trying to do is we, make, uh, we try to make sure that n remains odd. Now, let's try to uh, put value. If k is equal to 1, then this will be 2 minus 1 is 1, which is odd. If k is equal to 2, this will be 2 into 2, 4 minus 1, 3, that is also odd. If k is equal to 3, it will be 6 minus 1, 5. So, for all values of k, n is odd. So, we'll, we'll plug in this now uh, to make sure that this part only remains as odd because for even all the value is 0. Okay, so we can write it now like this that we put in this value of Vbn here, sin n pi t and the limit now we have instead of n we are now using k is equal to 1 to infinity. Okay, and this can be rearranged and we can write it if we take 4 pi outside then it will be 1 over n sin n pi t. So this is the total uh, value of the function. And now we need to plot this function. For that we will use these two formulas. One is the formula for the amplitude which is a square b square. Since a is 0 here a n is, is 0. Therefore, our value will be Bn magnitude and Bn we know has these two values. So, we will plot these two values for uh, Bn. Similarly, the angle is minus 10 inverse Bn over An. Now, I will not go into the details you might have learned already in your circuit class. Uh, how do we get? We know that the tangent of the theta is the uh, angle. So, it is inverse tangent and there is a minus sign and if you now take bn having any value and bn has any value an is 0 so this will be infinity and so the angle will be 90 and with the minus sign the angle will be minus 90 and when bn is 0 this 0 then the angle will be 0 now if you have difficulty you can see my previous video i have explained that uh, in details. Okay, so these two values now we need to plot. Okay, now plotting this value, uh, we are plotting it in the frequencies, uh, horizontal axis is the frequency and the vertical axis is the amplitude. Now, the from here we know that the fundamental frequency is pi. So at pi, this is the fundamental frequency, that means n is equal to 1. So if you put n is equal to 1 here, the magnitude will be 4 pi. So at pi, the magnitude is 4 pi. And then we know that the odd uh, 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 even harmonics is 0, this n even 0. So we'll go to the third one now, n3. So we put n3 here, then it will be 4 divided by 3 pi and similarly, for 5 pi 2. So this is the amplitude spectra and the phase spectra is very simple. We only have to plot minus 90 at n is equal to 1. So here pi minus 90, 3 pi minus 90, 5 pi minus 90 and so this is the phase spectra. But this is how you plot the amplitude spectra and phase spectra of the Fourier uh, series functions. So I hope uh, you have understood this. If there is any doubt, please let me know. Please send an email. Thank you.